Hello boys and girls, how's Tane here and today we're going to be unboxing the Gira Dojo 1-200 scale. Um, it's kind of like an MSIA mobile series, just a little bit more articulated. Now, um, I wasn't going to do an unboxing of this kit, but then it turns out that it's kind of like a model kit in itself, sort of. Because it's got parts you have to put together. Not the mobile suit itself or the backpack, but the weapons. Um, Anyway, this is one side of the box. It shows you, you know, uh, AMS-119 Gira Dogo, Xeon Mobile Suit Mad Production. That's a little bit different than what it's written, but it's alright. Uh, this will be the top of the box. This should be the other side of the box, where it's got this nice little warning in the way of the picture. They kind of should have put this on the other side, because, you know, it would look better. And this is the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and open this box. Normally I don't do the unboxing part of the want me to take stuff out of the box portion like this. Inside you get some nice little dis instructions. Shows you all the kits that you could get. Um, I'm assuming it showed you all the kits you can get. Um, size B. Get a bunch of other ones. And there's. Here's another picture of this mobile suit and giving it a little bit of its backstory, which you can't read unless you read Japanese. Now looking back at this one again, it would be kind of cool if, you, if I could have got that one. Because, I mean, that looks pretty badass compared to what the um, kits and everything else look like. So, anyway, we're going to get to the instructions. And when it shows you a back view, then you see the head, you can take the top off and you move the eye around, shows you the missiles, some parts of the legs, shows you the weapons, shows you the nice little bin you can get in it, and then you get your instructions on how to put your little weapons together, like this, kind of like a kit, you have to put these weapons together, that's the one only reason why I'm even doing this unboxing, uh, well, it's kind of neat, you can use the beam weapon to I guess move the mono eye, so it's kind of a tool, and then you take the commander antenna off. I'm sorry, I wasn't even showing yet. Gives you the beam weapon, and you see you can take the move the mono eye with it. You can take the commander antenna off. Uh, it's showing you can attach the sword to the gun, I guess. Then the gun to the backpack, and then it shows you all the stuff that you connect. Flip it around, and it just shows you the posing, and then. A nice little book. All right, so here we go. This is the Garadoga, the blue one, which was the better looking one to me. You get the nice little backpack with it. So we're going to take this out of this little thing. Bada bing, bada boom. There is the kit. And we'll get into articulation and all that kind of stuff after I put the weapons together. As you can see, you kind of have like a little bit of a nub right there. You kind of have to do some nub work. Set them off to the side. And this is the backpack. So they painted the thrusters, but you can tell they didn't do a very good job because you can see that the there's like the spots that haven't been painted. But pretty much just get that and attach it to the backpack to the back. Like so, and now it's attached. So here's your gun. You just put these two pieces together, and it's all ready. Here's your sword. Kind of the sword looks kind of bad. You need to cut off the runner. And this is the hilt, if you will. So I guess that's to go on the side of things. Here's your missiles. Here's your shield. And some shield attachments and missile attachments, I'm assuming. And then your hands. Your jazz hands, I guess you could call them. Alrighty, the first runner we're going to look at is OPI, I'm sorry, OP1, this is just the shield, you see it's got that nice little um, bit of work done to it, not too much, not too, you know, not too in your face, but you know, still there. Alright, the next one we're going to look at is the beam saber, this is, uh, let me flip it around, this is OP9, this is sword. Here are their missile pods. You can see right there, you got a little bit of red paint. You might have to scratch that off. And that's the only reason why I really did this video because they're on runners, so I mean, it's kind of like putting a kit together. 
And the bad thing is, like these reds, once you cut that nub there, you'll have that little black, you know, a little bit of the plastic showing through, but, you know, it'll be alright. And this is the runner OP, OP8, Overpower 8. This is just a gun, it's just two little pieces you snap together and the gun's all ready. And then we're getting this polycap material, because it's kind of flimsy. This is OP7, which is for the open hands and the rest of the missile pods. The other two missile pods that we're missing these two spots right down there, so these probably attach to it. Now we're into OP6. This is the shield and probably some missile pod holding the missiles onto the shield. It's a nice, uh, you know, great color. Next but not least, we get this hit sword hilt. Uh, inactive. And I'm assuming this is probably just a ne uh, connects to the body somewhere. Before we get into this, I'm going to cut this, these parts off the runner and then put them together and then get to the reviewing part of this kit. Alrighty, now we're getting to the review portion of this video. I'm going to go with articulation and things like that. Now, the first thing we'll go over is the, you know, this arm shield. It can do 360. You can go up about that far. You know, about that much far of a bend in it. So you can have it any kind of way, really. This side arm, um, this top part of the arm with spikes are kind of double jointed to where you can get it, you know, in some nice little moves on the spikes. Okay. This is about as far as the left arm will go. The left arm. The left arm can go up pretty high. The right arm on the other hand though cannot that's about as high as you can get the right arm. The arms both can go three sixty. I'm not gonna go over the other arm because I mean they're both 360 and the arms themselves can go about that far. I mean about that far. The backpack can pop up like that. I know this part right here is for the gun to attach on. I'll show that in a minute. Now with the waist armor being where it is right now inside the leg, that's about as far of a front kick you can get. I'm put the, the waist armor on top of the leg, and that's as far as your kick you can get. Same on both sides, there's no issue going over it. Without a bend in the leg, that's about as far back as you can get the leg. Then when you have the bend in it. And get all the way back like that. Same on both sides. And you move this um, leg armor down, and then you bend the foot in a weird, weird way. So we're going to straighten all that up. Waste the arms like this. Now, a bunch of a split you can get. Almost a full split. Almost. Not exactly, but I mean, it'll do. So you can easily do that kick that Shard does if you want to. The only major problem is you see that right there, the little plastic. That's for the hoses to move. So it's always best to keep that um, foot armor forward. I'm having a hard time remembering what the words are for these, so I'm just not even going to bother with this. The last time I'm doing this review, that's like my fifth take on this. So I'm sorry if I sound like an a-hole. This is a sword, an active version, and this is mainly the, a tool to use to move the mono arm. But when it's not in use, you can attach it right here to the butt. Um, now it comes with two commander antennas. One is flimsy and the one that's not the flimsy one is the one that's on there when you get out of the package you take it off put the hard one on um and that's just mainly for packaging and shipping so that so the commander tendon don't break now the head or i get too much farther the head can look up that far can't look down really you can do 360. the major problem with this kit though had to move the head too much in the top pop off that's how you but that's how you get the mono to move 
You just put the uh, flat head in, and then you just twist it whichever direction you want it to look. Yeah. Of course, now sometimes right like now it's wanting to pop out of the thing to where it won't turn straight. But it's alright. As I said, though, you just attach the inactive sword here, and that's where it stays. The second accessory we're going to get into is the gun. Now, the gun, you have a little peg hole right there. You can attach it to the butt, but it, with the backpack there, that's kind of in the way, so you can't really get it. And it's not really good, uh, strong connection. And this right here is where you can have the gun connected to the backpack. Pop it in and bam, the gun is in place. Now I'm going to warn you, you got two looking pegs. You got a peg there and a peg there. That peg isn't for nothing. That peg doesn't do anything. This is the one you have to put the gun on. Depending on which way you flip it. But you can't miss it though, you'll see. It's kind of got like a T to it. And that's just flat straight. You can't hold the gun. Not, And it's not going to go nowhere. Plastic on plastic. So you'll be alright. Kind of starting to sound like Tom broke off. <laughs> not really. The sword is about the same. Yeah, it's not going to go nowhere because it's plastic on plastic, soft plastic. Now on this shield, you have a peg that you can use to attach to the arm. You have it two both ways. That way, which is for it to go an arm like this. But if you see, it, it's not a good. It's not good because it's kind of um, not in the best sitting pose. I'm going to say I'm not even going to try to worry too much about it. So for me, I'd always keep it in this pose. This shield. Let's have the shield upside down. Let's take this and flip it around. Right. Well, bam, it's there. Now you also have the pegs there, so if you want to put missiles on that peg, you can. You get two of these. I really don't, I mean, other than, you know, extra missile pods is basically it. You get attachment for this part right here. It holds some more, you can hold missiles on that too. But me, though, I prefer it to be like this, so it looks like you can launch them from the shield, so that's how I always have it. And you get two hands, basically for, I don't know, for whatever kind of way you want to do it. If you want to, you know, try like that again, or you can have, you know, the gun resting in one hand and, you know, shoot from the other. Alrighty, well, I hope I went into everything on this one. If not, then it's just going to be missing some parts. And I'm about ready to get done with this review. Now, I like a kit, it's not hard, I mean, I like kits. Kits aren't hard to review. This kind of thing is because I don't know why, so it's like, you know, so it's kind of flimsy. You really don't get no, I don't know going this. You really don't have a waste move it. Uh, and you have to worry about these things popping off. See, see how they come undone. So I suggest gluing that. And uh, yes, that's about it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like on the video, rate, subscribe. And I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.